Hey, how you doing? I'm Al Condalusi again. Thanks for coming uh, back to our video series brought to you by UCP Class, uh, where we in Pittsburgh are working to build a community where each belongs. Today we want to talk a little bit about leadership. Um, all of us uh, play a very important role in leadership. And you know, I know some of you might be watching this video think, well, I'm really not a leader. Somebody else is the leader of my organization or the leader of this or leader of that. But all of us, all of us, find ourselves uh, playing a role uh, in leadership situations, whether it be in our family, whether it be in our churches, our neighborhoods, uh, or in our organizations. So I want to cover a couple key points about leadership for you to think about today as we think about the work we do in supporting people with disabilities. You know, one of the mo most important starting points is really to think a little bit about uh, what good leaders possess. And there's been a lot written about leadership. I mean, you can go to any bookstore, go on to Amazon, and you'll find, you know, hundreds of books written about leadership. But there are some key things that we know about leadership um, uh, that I want to underscore today. The first is that leaders, good leaders, give permission to the people they support. Um, they empower them. They, um, in, in, you know, motivate them to really want to do what you're asking them to do. So giving permission is the very first task of good leadership. The second task is to provide protection. A, a, a good leader will put their people out there to try things, do things, they'll give them permission to do that, but we know that sometimes things might not work as well as we'd like, and sometimes folks are not going to be successful. The good leader gives protection to those folks. They take the bullets. If there's a problem, they'll accept that as, as their issue as opposed to pushing it on the persons that they're supporting. And then lastly, good leadership is about creating a process. Leaders create ways that organizations or that groups can solve problems. Now, in terms of leadership, one of the things that we want to look at is what are the ingredients? You know, there's a great debate. Are leaders made or born? Um, is it something you read or study or take a course, or is it just in you? Is it just like part of your essence? And the answer really is a little bit of both of that, that all of us possess the potentiality to be good leaders. But there are some key things that we know about leadership that I want to uh, look with, uh, with you right now. One is that leaders are visionaries. Um, a leader is able to see further down the path. Um, leaders are, are ones that sort of craft um, the destination. We also know that in most of the writings about leadership, the great leaders have been passionate people. Not passionate from a sense of being a cheerleader, but passionate about having the uh, goal in your heart. Integrity, the third. Uh, people want to be able to trust their leaders. So a leader, if they say they're going to do something, then do it. Don't uh, give rhetoric uh, to things and then not follow up on them. Fourthly, trust. Uh, leaders have to establish a sense of trust. And then finally, and, and one that I think uh, very excited about is this notion of curiosity. Leaders need to take chances. Leaders need to be curious about why aren't we trying that? Why don't, why might not that, that, that notion work? So that's uh, the leadership ingredients. Now, one of the things that, uh, that we know about leadership is this, sit, this thing we call situational leadership. And, Situational leadership really is related to uh, the capacity of followers. What we mean by this, and I'm showing you in this uh, smart board graphic, that leaders have these kinds of things available to them. They can tell people what to do. They can try to sell them. They can test them. They can really consult with their followers, or they can co-create uh, with their followers together. So these are kind of four actions, five actions that leaders have available to them. But situational leadership tells us that when you think about the maturity of your followers, in other words, if these followers are folks that are mature, that, that have been around the block, then what, what theory tells us is the more mature, the higher uh, you go to the essence. Um, and so along these benchmarks where we have 
you know, these various opportunities, if you're dealing with an immature uh, group of people, say the, the folks that you're, you're working with are down at this level, they've never done the task before, they've never tried this before, it's brand new to them, then the leader is better off actually telling folks what they should do. But as, you're, as your followers get more mature, now you want to move higher up on the situational leadership scale. Right? Now, there's two major frameworks that we can think about in, in leadership, and usually what happens with people is from a sense of these frameworks, the very first thing that happens is that people, leaders, will sometimes get pulled into a problem orientation. What we mean by that is that somebody will come to the, to the leader and say, you know, Zach, I have a problem here. And Zach, as the leader, will say, okay, well, what's wrong and how can we solve this? Right? And most of the time, this is what happens in leadership activity, is that the, the, the leader gets pulled into a problem. That's going to happen sometimes to leaders. But the better way of going is really thinking about the notion of a solutions orientation. In other words, a good leader looks around at their activity and says, what's really working well and why? Why is it working well? And when they ask themselves these questions, they'll find some key ingredients that they might then be able to put toward their problem. So this, this notion of, uh, of following a solutions framework makes much greater sense. It has greater energy. It's very positive. It engages people. When you look at what's wrong, then you're going to blame people. And nobody wants to be blamed. Nobody wants to be put down. So a leader wants to kind of go this way in solving the problem, as opposed to getting sucked in to the problem itself. So finally, let me just conclude with what literature tells us, what studies have shown that followers want. Any of us that find ourselves in a leadership situation know that we have people who are following us. That doesn't mean they're lower than us. That don't mean that they're not as good as us. That just means that we're in charge of the situation. But we know through studies that leadership uh, followers uh, want these follow following things. And these are in order of importance. They want integrity first. They want a leader they can count on, they can trust, that they know is honest. Next. They want to be communicated with. They want to know what's going on. Followers want information. Thirdly, followers want the leader to focus on them as people. Uh, they want the leader to understand and, 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 and be, uh, be uh, aware of, of their, uh, their reality. Third, fourthly, followers want a leader who has sets a vision, who can see further down the path. And then lastly, and probably most importantly, Followers want their leader to really make a decision, to kind of cast uh, the shape of where we go. And so there you have it, just a short little primer on leadership. No, however, all of us are leaders. Um, every one of us watching this video uh, will find ourselves in a situation where we have to be leaders. So choose well, think about the role that you have to do, follow some of these ideas, and you'll be a great leader. I'm Al Condalusi. I want to thank you for watching this video. I want to call your attention to UCP Class, our organization in Pittsburgh. We're working toward a community where each belongs. Take a look at our website. See if you can uh, uh, track some of the things that we're doing at our agency. Give us a call if we can be of help to you. Thanks so much. Let's get out there and change the world.